Hey everybody, um, we have decided that we want to release some of our uh, older vlogs. It's going to be out of order from, uh, uh, it's kind of a flashback to last year. We shot some stuff and we uh, actually published some of the newer stuff and we wanted to kind of um, share some of our trips from last year because everybody has, uh, you know, uh, quarantine fever right now. And um, uh, this is from, this one's from our trip to the Tetons last May and shooting at uh, Schwabacher Landing, um, which is actually this uh, trip to behind me is from that location. Not this time, this was from another year. But um, yeah, uh, we had a lot of fun and we shot some, uh, a cool sunset and then some astro and uh, I get super sick. Um, more sick than I actually appear in the video, so that's kind of fun. So uh, enjoy. All right, we just finished shooting sunset. What do you think about it, Brandon? It's great. Just kidding. Let's <laughs> try for blue hour. <laughs> Yep, so we're shooting Blue Hour. Kemper's got his tripod. Brandon is copying him in every way he possibly can, except he is shooting in uh, he's shooting in um, landscape as opposed to portrait. So, so that's the difference we're gonna have here. I do have a better camera. <laughs> <laughs> How is it better? It's older, but the same model. More warning. <laughs> okay, okay. Brandon is shooting with the rookie nod. 14 millimeter uh, with an A7R3 and uh, Kemper here is shooting with a uh, Sigma. Sigma 1424. <laughs> and we're gonna see what kind of action we can get with the buttes over there. How'd you feel about Sunset? Brandon was very disappointed. You were disappointed? Uh, I wasn't that disappointed, but I wasn't also super happy. No, I got some bangers, dude. Uh, there's like two in there that I'm having my eye on, but like, I don't know. I, I liked earlier sunset actually more than I liked later sunset, which is not generally how it works. No, I was pretty happy. With later sunset or? The whole thing, yeah, I got some stuff the whole time. Yeah, you saw my uh, time lapse of the sunset, so I guess you can decide for yourself although there was a lot of really cool stuff happening over yeah, here well, that was not in my frame 100 to 400 shots yeah up over there yeah yeah so, so that you'll have to reference the photos to see that beauties yeah, we'll just pop them this. up on screen <laughs> <laughs> i hope that works out in the end <laughs> oh dear toby's like now you made me learn an animation <laughs> You just added a month to this project. <laughs> <coughs> so, as Kemper put it, an interesting side quest is he's not feeling amazing. I'm not feeling amazing. Mm, I feel I'm like I've good. used up my my winter health, and like all of a sudden today, I'm not feeling so great. But probably something I can sleep off, except that we're not planning on sleeping a whole lot. So <laughs> we'll just that's that uh, super smart, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm sure there's some terrible wind going on right now. <laughs> Look at there's a goose. It's actually significantly darker out here than that looks like. Right now, what we're working on is getting control shots. So, in the blue hour, we're we're gonna like get a shot that's super clean, like not high ISO, ISO 100 that's like really clean. You can still see some detail in the foreground, but it's still like really dark, so it looks like night. And then as it gets darker, we hold the same, the, the camera never moves. Then we start taking shots of stars and we'll be able to bring those in, um, in post. So that you kind of get this like, it's really cool. Like it looks like a nighttime image, but you don't have that high ISO grain and you can actually see a subject matter rather than just the stars. So it should be really cool. Hey y'all, so we just finished uh, doing some night starry cloudy photos. Uh, they hopefully are pretty epic. They look good on the back of the screen, so they probably aren't that good. Uh, yeah, that's about all I have. Kemper's tired and wants to leave. I want to do star trails. 
the clouds are kind of in the way, so I'm gonna let him have this W. He needs it. It doesn't feel great. So we found a bit of uh, of uh, wildlife in this natural habitat, Brandon. You getting a shot of it? Yeah. Rare piece. And you can see it, it's right there on the bank. <laughs> 